say hi. Say hi. Avery, aren't you gonna say hi? Wanna show everyone your finger? Show them. Look, she's got a marker on her finger. Good job. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about taking care of babies. Um, so we had our first batch of babies a couple weeks ago, and it just so happens that today is the day that they shed for the first time. So from now on, yeah, you just took a marker and marked yourself. Avery always says, you know, something bit her or something. Did a snake bite you? Did a snake bite you? No, no, no snake bit you. We're gonna talk about what I do to get my babies to be pretty calm. So I, I separated them into a few groups. So first we have three ghost motleys. And one, well this one's just a regular ghost. This though I think is my favorite snake from the batch. It's really gray and quite bright. I think it's the brightest snake from the batch, but we'll still have to see. But take a look at those eyes. Able to zoom in on them a bit? Yeah, so you can see really nice light eyes. So the first thing that I do with all my babies, and I've been doing this since they were born, I hold them, play with them a bit like this, and get them used to being handled. This seems to be what works best to having really calm snakes. The only downside to actually having them so calm from the time they're little is that when it comes to feeding time sometimes they're not as aggressive. Where I found that if I don't play with them and I don't handle them, they'll be a lot more bitey, they'll be a lot more scared, but then they'll also be a little bit better eaters. So you have to figure what matters more to you. I haven't had to deal with any snakes that have been really nasty. And I think it's because from the time they're born, I handle them. This one is the one that, because I, I put together a female motley, Annery. So Annery is a recessive gene that gets rid of all the red. And um, I put the Annery motley with a male that was hypo, aner, het Annery, het albino. So if we look at this, snake it's carrying the anery gene but it isn't showing it that's why the tail is red so when you look at the red tail you can tell that this one is not a ghost a ghost is when you have the anery and the hypo or salmon gene together showing so this one would be het ghost because it has the salmon or the hypo but it's not showing the anery so this one is just considered a motley hypo het anery but it has really cool face too they have like these really dark faces with nice light eyes can you see that very good this is a motley ghost so this one is carrying the anery gene which gets rid of all the red so if you look at the tail you don't see any red it's all mostly kind of like a gray beige looking snake and these ones are showing the anery which once again gets rid of the red pigment and the motley gene which kind of makes like a ladder but when you mix the, the motley with the hypo it kind of um, it changes it a bit but we'll show you the motleys soon so that you can uh, see the difference but these ones are basically the ones that are carrying the most genes and showing them so here's another one same thing you look at the tail it's not very red it's actually there's no red so this is another motley ghost you can tell it's a motley because of how connected the saddles are how it makes almost like a ladder pattern um, so when we compare it to actually the one that's my favorite it's kind of a bit sad because my favorite one doesn't have as many genes it's just a ghost, so it doesn't have the motley gene. But, so when you look at it, you can see how this one has like the connecting saddles. They all kind of get close to each other and connect. And then when we look at um, this one, ooh, escapees. Okay, so then when we look at this one over here, you see they're not connected. It's just like kind of, almost like a regular, the pattern. But it is really nice and bright. So this is the one I'm going to keep. Now, 
the next bundle, I'll show you the, oh, and you can see, so they just had their first shed. After they have their first shed, that's when I uh, start feeding them. I'll do another video probably about that later. So now I got a few Motleys, and with the Motleys, it's, they're probably the trickiest to tell which ones are Annery Motley and which ones are just regular Motley. But this is just, I'm not sure if this is an Annery Motley yet. I'll have to like go through all of them and look at them in the light. But just to show you what the um, Motley gene looks like, you can see it's a lot stronger than with the Hypo. They're a lot darker. You look at the tail, you see how the pattern all connects. So these ones are not ghosts, they're just regular Motleys. So all the regular Motleys are going to be darker and they have that connecting saddle. Lots of, sometimes it even looks like circles, you can see the circles. The mother has nice circles too. Uh, I think I see a Motley that does have red, so we'll look at that one. It's very, very subtle. So, you see this one, it's darker. The face is really dark. Motleys are really pretty even on their own. But I think that this one has warmth in it. I see the tail looks a little brown. And then we compare it to another one. And put the tails next to each other. I don't know if you can see the difference. But the one this one has more brown in it. Or more red. And this one you can't see any red at all. No red. This one has a little bit of red in it. So I think that this one is just a regular Motley. And then this one is an Annery Motley. And you can see I'm holding all these babies. They've just had their fresh shed. I play with their faces, touch their heads, massage their head. Look at the eye on that. It's really nice how it sticks out. It's bright. The nice thing, um, having them from the time they're babies, by doing this, by playing with their faces and getting, at first it kind of irritates them, but over time they start to like it. And once they get used to you doing this, if you can have them from the time they're baby and get them used to doing that, then they're going to be okay with anything because... If they're fine with you playing with their face and touching their face, they're going to be fine with you touching them anywhere. And the last Motley. This one don't think this one shed yet. So you can see this one has kind of like an opaque look. And because it hasn't shed, I can't really see what the tail is yet, but this one might have a warm tail also. There were four Motleys. I have one, two, three sheds. So that last one didn't shed. Um, the normals and the anneries. So let's let's go with the anneries first. So the anneries, this is just a plain annery. Annery, they're recessive. So as you look at the tail, they look really cool and gray. So there's no red pigment. Okay. Want to get go? There. But come over here. Go over here. Good girl. Okay. So let's look at the anery again. So the other one was a, it was a ghost, meaning that it had the hypo or the salmon. And the salmon kind of gives it like these bow ties. Where these aren't really bow ties. They're just plain regular markings. But you look at that tail, and it's all gray. There's no red pigment at all. This is a nice little anery. And the eyes are usually quite bright as well. So we got four of those. So you look at this, this is another anery. Yeah, very nice. You want to say hello? Touch, gentle. Very gentle. You want to hold it? Okay, but be gentle. Gentle, gentle. No, you have to hold it nicely. No, oh, no, that's not nice. That's not nice. You have to be gentle. Now it's scared. Look at that tail. Let's look at the tail again. See how nice and bright it is? Perfect. We got that. We got two more. And these. Ooh, there, I got my first bite. Wow. So if you get bit by one of these, you have to just ignore it. So they're out of, um, <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you film that? See that? So it's a little scared. And it's striking. Uh, yeah, yeah, look. Uh. <laughs> you have it filmed? You zoom in on it? It's okay, it's okay. So, when they act like this, you just have to kind of ignore it. Hold them a bit. Don't worry, don't worry. 
And you gotta just, you gotta, oh, it just bit itself. So you just, you gotta spend some time with them, hold them daily, and then eventually they'll calm down. Okay, we're gonna put this one over here, and we're gonna have to spend some more time. <laughs> so there you saw it, little bite. Barely feel it, you don't even really notice, but out of um, 17 babies, it's okay. It's okay, out of 17 babies, we got a feisty one. And that's, that's totally normal, that's totally okay. And with a bit of holding, that one will calm down just like the other one. For example, now we're gonna take this opportunity to try and feed this one. Since it's in a nasty, striking mood, let's, can we get close to it? You got it? We'll see if maybe we can use this to our advantage. Want a nice little meal? Or, no, see, it's scared. Okay. <laughs> can you get close? Can you get closer? Just look. It's like, this thing is scared. Okay. Maybe that'll eat it. Maybe it won't. We'll see. See with this, I can tap it in the head, we can do whatever, and it's fine. The rest of them are fine. You have to be gentle, see? Nice. You say hello, be gentle, touch, say hi, gentle. Good girl. See, they're curious. See, they, they want to see what's going on. They're really calm. Now we'll look at this one's tail again. See, nice and gray. So that's Annery. Annery, no red pigment. As they get older, they, they won't stay as bright and gray, even though I'd like them to, and some people, when they buy them, think that they will. They do end up getting a little bit browner as they get older. Some of them stay lighter than others, though. There we go. And then after, we got to spend time calming down the nasty one, but we'll, we'll do that later. Eh? So here's a ghost. So we have two more ghosts. See the ghost? If you look at it, it has the salmon which makes it like the bow tie, so you can see the bow ties on it. They're really distinct markings, so the salmon and hypo... Salmon is a type of hypo, so all, all salmons are hypos, but not all hypos are salmons. Just relax, relax. Okay, over here, let's put your little snake necklace on. Look, your little snake necklace. Yeah, see the little snakey? You got that? <laughs> yeah, snake. Okay, so, with um, the salmon hypo gene, it really cleans it up. So, clean meaning, like, you don't see a lot of spots on the snake. You see... It's pretty, almost cream colored, clean. Once again, you don't see red in the tail. So hypo or salmon would make it more red, but because it's anery, the anery gets rid of the red. It's okay, Look, go like this. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it. Grab that. Look. Good. Okay, so this is- good. Combination of anneries and salmons are called ghosts. It has to be visually salmon and visually anery. So we got this one. We got one more that's like that. And my favorite one's like that too. So we can look at those. Once again, you see the um, the bow ties. This one has kind of bigger bow ties. But it really does have a distinct look. And once again, no red on the tail. Okay. Now for the last few, I think we have two normals and a salmon. So here's a salmon on its own. What? Oh, you just broke it. Good job. Now it's dead. You killed it. Okay, we're gonna have to take this thing off, maybe. Ooh! Ouch. Okay, let's, we'll figure that out later. It's dangerous now. Okay, look. So this is a salmon without the anery. You can see there's a nice red tail. See the red tail? I don't believe this one shed either, so it doesn't look as bright as it should. But it's got a nice red tail. It's carrying the anery gene, but it's not showing it. So that's the regular salmon. Here's a normal that's shed and a normal that hasn't shed. So we'll look at the normal that hasn't shed. See the tail? You can see the warmth in the tail. So these are just normal. They're carrying anery, but they're not showing it. And now for the last one. Here we go. You can see that red tail. Mm. Now lots of people will call boas, they'll call all boas red tails, but a true red tail is called a BCC, and these are all called BCIs. So BCIs do not get as big as BCCs, and they're not really red tails. So, so these should not be called red tails, even though they have a red tail. So you see how it's red? Wonderful, so that's just a normal, Het for Annery, 
50% chance that it's also carrying albino. They all have a 50% chance of carrying albino. And that's our little baby update for now. So that's basically the first step after having babies. You wait for them to shed. They all had lovely, perfect little one-piece sheds. So this is how the shed should be. We're seeing beautiful one-piece shed. Yay, make it rain. And um, the next step will be feeding them. Okay, hope that was helpful and informative. See you later. Bye, Reese. Bye. 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 Bye.